you can see this body is like really dirty inside. Okay folks, what we got here is a 2005 Nissan Sentra. Um, problem is uh, while driving it's cutting off um, or when you come to a stop slide it cuts off. Sometimes it's hard to restart. It only happens once the engine is warmed up. I went through and did uh, pretty much the simplest stuff like fuel pump, check all the fuel pump and um, PCV valve anything that could lead to a fuel problem everything seems fine um, after doing some research it leads me to believe that it's the throttle body maybe it's dirty or maybe it's going bad because it's one of these electronic throttle body so we're gonna take it apart and clean it first thing we got to do is disconnect our battery then we're gonna remove the air filter housing we're gonna unplug our mass airflow sensor remove these clamps remove that uh, clip remove the clip any clips I have already pulled this 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 hose out and uh, we're gonna keep working on this all right now I'm disconnecting the mass airflow sensor disconnect anything that's holding it together the 10 millimeter nut Or should I say 10 millimeter bolt is holding on this airflow tubing. Four clips. gonna get a rag and just cover this air filter. There's the clip here for the electronic cable. I'm gonna unhook it and then pull this body out. This is an Allen key but I've got an attachment for my ratchet so that's what I'm gonna use. Make sure you get your Allen key all the way in. If not, you could have some problems, like a stripped head. Just a couple of turns, and it's usually out. You can see this body is like really dirty inside. I'm gonna try to get that cleaned up okay folks here's the throttle body we're gonna try to get this all cleaned up connect it back and relearn it and see what happens um, see all the gunk and the corrosion not corrosion but the soot build up inside so let's try to work on that So what I'm doing right now is I, I got an old toothbrush and um, I got some carburetor cleaner which I use to spray the inside of this throttle body and with a toothbrush I'm brushing all the carbon buildup out around the ring of the butterfly where the butterfly sits in the closed position. You can see a carbon buildup ring that goes there um, and as I was examining this uh, this throttle body I can see that um, that, that the, the, the the butterfly was not closing properly so um, I brushed all that uh, buildup out of the throttle body 
and once I completed cleaning all the uh, carbon buildup, I have an air compressor which I use to blow all the uh, the residue out. Um, once it's blown out, I use a rag to um, do a final wipe down. Sometimes what I ran into is the brush is not stiff enough to get that uh, carbon buildup out so I use the rag with some finger force um, to kind of uh, rub it out like you can say um, after it's been soaked with the carburetor cleaner. So now that we got this throttle body all cleaned up, um, it's time to get it reinstalled back on the uh, on the on the vehicle. Um, so as I'm preparing to install it, you will see that the uh, gasket that came off between the manifold and the um, the throttle body, there's no. Uh, in out up down left right position for it so um, it could go in any position once I lined it up I got um, I got the uh, I put two screws in, two of those screws, I put two of those screws in just to hold that um, that gasket in place and um, I, I made sure I orient the uh, throttle body in the correct position so I can plug back my cable in. I put all those screws, all four screws in my hand and hand tied it that way. I want to ensure that none of it is cross threaded. and. Once I did that, I used my uh, my special Allen key that works off the ratchet. Um, I used that to um, do a, a, a snug down. Once I snug it down with this uh, Allen key, I um, I went ahead and, and uh, used the ratchet to tighten it. But make sure you don't over tighten it because you can strip the screws or not even the screws but you can probably stri strip the threads on the manifold and once that's stripped then you create a whole lot of work for yourself you'll start having vacuum leaks and, and all kind of problems okay once we uh, got this trotter body back in um, we're gonna just start us reassembling the area with uh, the parts we took off so we're gonna we're gonna start uh, working in reverse order and putting back the parts, making sure all our clamps are connected, sensors are connected, um, all anything we remove, we connect back together um, on the engine. Once we're done, you want to follow the instructions on how to relearn the throttle body because once it's disconnected from the engine, it needs to relearn um, the proper uh, setting. So on the display screen, you'll see the instructions for relearning the throttle body. Like, share, subscribe um, to my channel for future videos on this uh, Nissan Sentra um, as I've done a lot of work to it and I just need to process the video and post it.